Hi, so there was a question about how to add images to a text box for the exercise five assignment. So I thought I'd do a quick video to give a demonstration of how to do that. Um, so the first thing obviously you wanna do is navigate to the assignment that you're working on. In this case, it's exercise five. So I've gone to assignments in Canvas and I'm gonna uh, open up exercise five so that I can submit uh, an image for the assignment. So here I am, I'm going to find the blue submit assignment button and click that and it will open up a, um, a text box for me that I can then work in to complete the assignment. Uh, the instructions are actually still above that, it just opens it directly to the text box. And so I'm going to click in here, type in the um, information you need to type in to complete the assignment. And um, I need to uh, in, uh, insert an image. And to do that, you use the icon that's a little box that looks like it has a mountain range inside of it. And that's how you can embed an image. And the easiest uh, method to do that is to use a URL. So if you've used the Google search method to find your Creative Commons or public domain image, you can then um, capture the URL for it. Now take note, uh, the it will only embed an image if it has an image file extension like JPEG or ping. So you do need to make sure that the link you have has that file extension at the end of it. Otherwise, it doesn't quite work to insert the image. So I have already performed a search and found an image that is Creative Commons and that I like. And so I'm going to use this one to search for, uh, to, to put into the text box. So I've, I'm hovering over the image here. I'm going to just, in the easy way, right click and um, copy the image address. If you notice up here in the URL bar, it does not have that .png or .jpg file extension that would be necessary. So I have to make sure I'm getting the actual URL for the image itself. And fortunately, um, in my Chrome browser, it allows me to do that when I right click and um, can co I can copy the image that way. So you can see here, this image is in the public domain. Um, there's information on, you know, for the citation that I would then also add into my text. I'm gonna navigate back over to the um, exercise five text box. As you saw, I copied the URL and now I right clicked again and I'm going to paste it into the box. You can see here that it ends with .jpg, so it's a JPEG, so that means I can put it in. now. I'm going to use this little alt text box because it's good practice um, and this is going to help improve the accessibility of the image for people who uh, have visual impairments and can't see the image very well or at all. And I'm going to do that by typing in a, a description of what the image is. Matchstick with flame. And uh, then it gives you the size dimensions of the image. Um, 960 is really big, so I think that I will want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and type uh, 450, just and it will resize the picture for me so it's a little smaller. Update, and there it is. You can see my little matchstick uh, and flame, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down to the next line, and then here is where I would type the citation details for the image. And also, here you want to make sure you're including the link. So we just copied it in, so I actually still have it. So I can go up here and use this um, options for link. So this little chain is a link, uh, and I'm going to click that little icon, and I'm going to paste the, uh, the URL. Um, however, I'm actually going to stop right there, delete that, because I'm going to go back to it and recall that the link we want to use here is the web page uh, link rather than that goes to the, the page that has the description of the image, and um, that's a better link to use. So I want to make sure I grab the proper link rather than the link directly to the image. The link directly to the image goes here and then it's just the image and you have no context for that. So I want to find a better link for this particular um, image that gives me all of the citation details um, for that. So I'm going to try this one up here in the URL bar. I'm going to just test it out, see if it works. 
and I see that it does. So that's the uh, that's the link I'm going to use. I'm going to navigate back to the website. I've put in the website URL. I'm inserting that link, and there it is. Another way you can do it is you can paste the URL in, and then highlight that URL, and then click that chain, and put your link in, and then that'll uh, have the text that you highlighted. So if you want the link itself to be highlighted, you can do that. So there are your um, options for that. And uh, then when you're done, you can uh, go ahead and submit the assignment. If you do have questions or comments, you can type them here, and I'll see that. There, and then push submit. And now it's done, and I have submitted an assignment uh, right there, which I can uh, review my assignment here if I want to redo it. Okay, thank you very much. Hopefully that helped you. If you have any further questions, let me know.